dear students today we will learn one example in unit costing in advanced accounting and auditing paper 1 second year bcom here is the question from the books of account of mrs aryan enterprise the following details have been extracted for the year ended 31st march 2011 stock of materials opening stock rupees 1 lakh 88000 closing stock rupees 2 lakh materials purchased during the year rupees 8 lakh 32000 direct wages paid rupees 2 lakh 38400 indirect wages rupees 16000 salaries to administrative staff rupees 40000 freights inward rupees 32000 and outward freight rupees 20000 cash discount allowed rupees 14000 rent rates and taxes factory rupees 12000 and office rupees 6400 traveling expenses rupees 12400 salesman salaries and commission rupees 33600 depreciation return of plant and machinery rupees 28400 furniture rupees 2400 director fees rupees 24000 electricity charges factory rupees 48000 fuel for boiler rupees 64000 general charges rupees 24800 manager salary rupees 48000 bad debts written off rupees 18800 and repairs to plant and machinery rupees 42400 additional information the manager's time is shared between factory and office in the ratio of 20 is to 80 from the above information we are to prepare a cost sheet for mrs aryan enterprise students let us understand the elements of cost first first of all we are given stock of materials opening stock closing stock purchase of materials this will be considered in material consumed while preparing a cost statement same way freight inward will be recorded for material consumed then we are given direct wages direct wages will be a part of prime cost then indirect wages is an element of factory overheads salaries to administrative staff is element of administrative overheads outward freights as an element of selling and distribution overheads cash discount allowed this will not be considered in cost statement because it is a financial cost rent rates and taxes for factory as a factory cost and office will be recorded in administrative overhead traveling expenses will be recorded under selling and distribution expenses salesman salary and commission under same head selling and distribution depreciation on plant and machinery under the head factory overheads on furniture under the head administrative overheads director fees will be recorded under the head administrative overhead factory electricity charges will be recorded under the head factory overheads fuel for boiler for factory overheads general charges under the head administrative overheads manager's salary there is an additional information for manager's salary it will be recorded as per the information and the information is manager's time is shared between factory and office in the ratio of 20 is to 80 it means 20% of manager's salary will be recorded as a factory overheads 
and 80% of manager salary will be recorded as administrative overheads. Bad debts written off will not be considered for preparing cost sheet because it is our purely finance element. Repairs to plant and machinery will be recorded under the head factory overheads. Now let us prepare the cost sheet for the above information. Dear students, here we have taken information from the question and here is the cost statement. Statement of cost and profit of Mrs. Aryan Enterprises for the year ended 31st March 2011. Particulars and amount. First of all, we will find out material consumed and for that our requirement is opening stock of raw material rupees 188000 in that we will add material purchased during the year rupees 832000 then freight inward rupees 32000 so our total material cost amount to rupees 152000 from this total cost we will deduct cost of closing stock of raw materials that is rupees 2 lakh as per the information so finally we get 8 lakh 52000 as materials consumed now in material consume we will add direct wages that is 2 lakh 38400 so we get 10 lakh 90400 as our prime cost now in prime cost we will add factory overheads and the elements of factory overheads are indirect wages rupees 16000 repairs to plant and machineries rupees 42400 factory rent rates and taxes rupees 12000 depreciation on plant and machineries rupees 28400 and electricity charges for factory 40 8000 fuel rupees 64000 and manager salary 20% of rupees 48000 because 20% time is used in factory amount rupees 9600 so our total factory overheads amount to rupees 220400 this 220400 will be added in our prime cost rupees 10 lakh 90400 so finally we get factory cost or a work cost amount to rupees 13 lakh 10800 now in a factory cost of rupees 13 lakh 10800 we will add administrative or general overheads and we have the information salary to administrative staff rupees 40,000 office rent rates and taxes rupees 6,400 depreciation on furniture rupees 2,400 director fees rupees 24,000 general charges rupees 24,800 and manager salary 80% of rupees 48,000 amounts to rupees 38,400 so our total administrative overheads amount to rupees 136000 this 136000 will be added in our factory cost rupees 1310800 ,10 so finally we get cost of production rupees 1446800 dear students in this particular sum, we do not have information of opening and closing stock of finished goods. So, we will not take them into statement. Now, we will add selling and distribution overheads. That is, freight outwards, rupees 20,000. Traveling expenses, rupees 12,400. And salesman's salaries and commission, rupees 33,600. So our total selling and distribution overheads amount to rupees 66,000. This 66,000 will be added in cost of production rupees 14,46,800. So finally we will get 
टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टीन लैक ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड दैट सॉल्व डियर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वेरी सून वी विल मीट विद द न्यू सम इन यूनिट कॉस्टिंग फॉर एडवांस अकाउंटिंग एंड ऑडिटिंग पेपर वन थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच